Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So most of you already know that Angular has released their new version and this is how the webs their new website actually looks like. As most of you already know that Angular has released their new version which is version 17 and also they have released their new website which is angular.dev and just look at this website guys how beautiful this looks like. So today we are going to do something very interesting that we will be updating our existing let's program website which is built by using Angular version 16 so I will try to showcase you that how we can upgrade your angular version from 16 to 17 okay so what are the steps is required and what are those necessary command what we have to use to do so so if I show you the package.json of my existing project so this is how it looks like so it is all currently by using angular version 16 so I'll try to show you that how we can update this to latest version so if you can see here that this website is already running that this is on my local and there is no such error in the console as well so now to do the update right so I'll try to follow what the official document just says what we have here angular.dev so first command what they say is ng update to angular version 17 so let's see if this command actually works so what we'll do right so this is your project right so let me just close this for at the moment and let me hit the command ng update so let's see what happens if you do this command so ng update so once you hit that command right so this is what the what we get here so this is asking me to use this specific command to do the update so here you can see the message so there might be additional package which we don't provide ng update capabilities okay so what we'll do right so we'll try to do this one at a time so let's do this first maybe we can start with the cli let's hit the command now here you can see it is installing the packages so as you can see that i was trying to update my angular cli but i got these errors and this error says that the package is installed successfully but here there is a big catch the node.js version okay so to update your angular cli to version uh, 17 so the minimum node.js requirement is 18.3 and I have 18.12.1 so I will have to first update my node.js so to update my node.js I will be using a command nvm so I will use nvm to install my node.js so I will say nvm install 18.13 and hit enter so as you can see it is installing something from the internet and now i can see that it has been installed successfully so now i'm using node version 18.13.0 and here you can see that all the node version what i have installed in my system so as you can see my previous version was 18.12.1 and now i have 18.13.0 which is required for me to update my angular from 16 to 17. so if you're facing any difficulty by using nvm so what you can do you can go on the website node.js so you can just go node.js.com the first website what it opens so from here also you can install the latest version which is LTS version of node.js and you are good to go so now once the minimum requirement is met so now I can use the command which was ng update at the rate angular slash cli okay so now I can update my cli so hit enter as you can see this is installing packages again wow so this time you can see that I have lot of changes in my package.json can you see it is all been updated to version 17.0.1 one. Let me show you the git changes here so that you can clearly see what are the differences now. So as you can see it has updated most of the packages here but I still want to target this angular slash cdk so what I will do I'll just copy this because next thing is I have to update this one. So let me use this command and hit enter let's see what happens. So once I click on this edit so the problem here that I still have some git changes right here so I have to commit these changes first and then only I can hit the another update command. But before pushing the changes to the github let's see what are the changes in angular.json because we haven't covered this so let me just open this so now if you see the changes here that it clearly states that now the browser targets has been changed to build target and this is for production development and also for this extract i18n also let me introduce you guys that one of the new feature what angular has given that now we will be using wheat and this will be by default so now whenever we use uh, whenever we do ng serve and ng build command so this is how this is the performance what we will be getting now so as you can clearly see in this graph I am already in love with angular to be honest now let's go back and just commit our changes so let me just add it here that let's give a commit message update the angular CLI to version 17 and let commit this change so now my code is pushed so now I will be able to use the command to install the CDK so let me again hit the same command ng update and now this command works so as you can see that there is again a change in the package.json file and it is now installing that package so now in the package.json it has updated the version of your angular CDK so again this is optional if you guys don't use CDK in your project then you don't need to do it but for me I was using this in my project so I have 
have to upgrade it also so as you can see now i have my angular cdk has been updated to version 17. now again i have to update this ng update at the rate angular slash core okay but i cannot run this command because i have some changes here to be pushed so let me push these changes first so i can see it as core and then let's write a message updated the cdk to version 17 and commit the changes all right so my two updates has been done so the last one is updating the angular slash core so let's see what happens once i hit enter so as you can see that first we have installed the angular slash cli and that cli update already updated this angular slash core so this is what that message it gives to us so let's go and confirm if my cli is also my core is also updated so as you can see here my core is also 17.0.1 which means i have successfully upgraded my angular from version 16 to version 17 so now let's test our application if it is building or not let's go back let me clear all this and let me hit a command ng build watch so now it is generating the browser application bundle. So let's wait for it. As you can see, my build is success. So let me just verify it on the browser if it is working fine. So now if I go here and if I refresh the browser, wow, I can see everything is still the same which means that now we are we are able to successfully upgrade our angular version from 16 to 17 in our production ready application so here i can see my application is running quite smooth right so it's all good so no such issues at all now let me just give you one more thing that if you want this video to be in a blog version so i will be coming up with that as well so you can check out my website which is letsprogram.in and here you can find my blog here anyway i have written a blog over the new version update of version 17 like whatever improvement what we are getting so i have already written a blog about it so you can have a look at my website and you can read this blog to get more information about what are the new changes in angular also to get more information about what are the changes and what are the updates and all so you can also find it on angular.dev they have already written a lot of good blogs about it same so you can go and check it out all right guys so that's it from this today's video uh if you guys faced any issue doing the update then do let me know in the comment section and if you still have any doubt or any question or you have any request for upcoming videos so you can also let me know that in the comment section also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you love my content because i will be coming up with some new videos on angular version 17 with all its features we will be discussing it in detail so that's all for today see you guys in my new video till that time bye bye and keep learning guys